Welcome back to the series of short tutorials explaining how to do reproductive analysis in Excel following the instructions in the standard operating procedure linked in the description below. This tutorial is on estimating the length fecundity relationship uh, and it assumes that you've already loaded data into uh, the worksheet um, in this part of the spreadsheet. If you haven't done that, please see the video also linked in the description below. So we have three columns that are automatically populated uh, once you enter your data into the spreadsheet. Uh, first, we have uh, an aggregate function. Basically, Excel goes through and looks for any value in the fecundity column and pastes it here. Next, we take the log of this fecundity value, uh, and that's log to the base 10. So here is uh, uh, each of these fecundity values uh, converted to its log value. And then Excel goes back and looks at the length uh, data associated with this fecundity estimate from the, the data sheet and also uh, uh, returns the log to the base 10 value of the length. Okay. So what we're going to do now is just as we did for the weight length relationship, do linear regression analysis on these log transformed data. So to do that, we're going to go to data, go to data analysis, and click on regression. We're going to input the Y range, which in this case is log of fecundity. We're going to input the X range, which in this case is log of length. And our output range is going to be F1 in this case. We had a couple of extra columns relative to the weight length relationship. Click on OK. And once again, everything is calculated for us. Um, the same format as we did for the weight length relationship. This is the log of the parameter A, whereas this is the B parameter, the slope of the line. Okay. So down here, we've taken the inverse log that is 10 raised to the power of negative 7.19, which returns 6.36 times 10 to the negative 8. And the B value is 8.35. Come back for the next video and we'll show you how to plot these data or to visualize the data.